Another day, another death. Shit, they're here too. Go away.
known I'd find you here. Here and everywhere, now and always. I am the wheel and its turning. I am the circle of life and death. And I am beginning to think the vampires committed suicide only to escape your voice. Do not forego my favor with your impertinence, Raziel. You have finally fulfilled your purpose. I am pleased. What are you trying to obliterate here, then? What is it about me that has you so afraid? <laughs> your fate is trivial, Raziel. It was Cain's destiny that mattered all along.
my spirit united with the souls of my predecessors is drawn here now for the final baptism of the blade. To restore balance, the sword must be rendered pure by spirit. Release me, Raziel. The soul reaver has the power. Release us all. For this we were called.
Janos, what is this? The binding is failing. All is lost. We had arrived at that cataclysmic moment when a younger Cain faced his fateful dilemma as Balan's guardian. Choosing self-preservation over sacrifice, he doomed the pillars to eternal ruin. Raziel, there may yet be hope. There is one who will be called. You must seek the Scion of Balance. Dear God! <laughs> You have played your part flawlessly. It is gratifying to attain both freedom and vengeance in a single stroke. No! You cannot! This one is strong. Good. My next move requires a more durable host. Mortals are such fragile vessels. Willing or not, you have provided the instrument of our victory. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. You pathetic creature. You haven't got a clue. The seduction of the Circle and possession of Mortanius. Ariel's murder. The corruption and collapse of the Pillars. All orchestrated as a prelude to this moment. We sought an incorruptible vessel, and you provided one. We required the blood of our ancient enemy, and you delivered Janos Audrin, having first been lured to the heart of darkness. Best of all, you murdered the Scion of Balance to get it. We've already won. <laughs> Raziel! You must not allow them to carry out their plan. Kill me, and you end it now. Oh! Suicidal like the rest of them. Know your place, Raziel. The true hero plays his role, and then steps aside. <laughs> you deluded ghoul. Do you so wish to die a martyr for the vampire's lost cause? You're not leaving this chamber. I will destroy Janos if I have to. Very well then. I'll indulge you. Thank <laughs> you.
Uziel. Finish it before he returns. <gasps> oh. You should have listened to me. Now it is finished, and thus a new epic has its beginning. Do you see? However far you stray, you will always return to me. Surrender, Raziel. Never! <laughs> Your efforts are wasted, Raziel. That weapon you bear, however endowed, remains only a wraith blade. It cannot touch me. I will not be your prisoner. You have no choice. Your task is fulfilled. Cain has been cleared from the board, and this chamber made ready for my more malleable servants. There is nothing more for you to do. I refuse to bend my will. It has always been my will you satisfy, never your own. You parasitic fraud. You are forced to imprison me because I possess free will. You possess nothing. As you are undying, your soul cannot be returned to the wheel. But it may console you to abide here in eternity with me. Mobius, my good servant, I call you to the place of our first meeting. Return to me here. I awoke to find myself in a shadowy realm. A disquieting stillness lay where my heart had been, the heart that had belonged to Janus Audrin all along. How is it possible that I still lived? You are still very full of that That will go first. This realm will render you hideous. You will go mad, and will not know it. What is this place? Do you not think of this place every day, vampire? Or are we truly forgotten? forgotten? This is the exile into which we were driven. But soon now, soon we will be free. We will be free!
felt strongly drawn, compelled even, not to linger here, but to go to the Vampire Citadel at once. I knew what ominous hour this was in Nosgoth's history, for here was the event that had shaped my entire existence. I had cast my fate, refusing the sacrifice, damning the pillars, and founding my doomed empire upon their ruins. I would raise the Salafan priests to be my closest lieutenants, and would one day cast the strongest of them, my servant Raziel, into the abyss, dealing one last hand to play against fate. But in the end, had it made any difference? Had I misread the signs, as Mobius told me, in my arrogance, had I missed my cast at destiny? Ugh. <sighs> 
The Hilden are merely an inconvenient consequence. They will be dealt with in time. It is a small price to pay for Cain's death. You're a bit premature. Cain! Is there a crack in your omniscience after all, Mobius? First, your omniscience, and now your powers. You're slipping badly. This is not possible. The part of me that staff affected is no longer in its place. But you already knew that, didn't you? I always was considered heartless. And now, Mobius, it is time... To kill me? Again? Your only solution for every problem... Kill! This is not a debate. You see, this time, you have nothing that I want. Oh, you think this will matter? I serve one who has power over life and death. Then go to him. I am his obedient, his devoted servant. Soon, all pain will fade, and my master will bring me life once more. Master, my apologies. A momentary oversight. Somehow, Cain still lives and has unexpectedly dispatched me. Make use of your good servant and... Go to your master, then. I release you to the wheel. Oh, God, no. Do you see it now? The monster that you served? Is this what you imagined when you worshipped it? are irrelevant, Raziel. Mobius was a good servant, but he was of no further use. His long life had run its course. You see, even when you rebel, you are doing my will. Perhaps, but something has changed, hasn't it? You didn't foresee Cain's return. You have both traced your paths along the wheel. This is where the journey ends. You haven't the means to kill either one of us. Ah, but you can be stopped. And you will come to understand how oblivion can be a mercy. You and Cain will spend eternity buried here together, praying for the merciful release of a death that will never come. But I was armed with newfound knowledge and it burned within me. Redeemer and destroyer. Mobius had never seen his master until the Soul Reaver purified his sight. Even the ancient vampires had no idea what it was they so righteously worshipped. You must unite, what is this? All the conflict and strife throughout history, all the fear and hatred, served but one purpose to keep my master's wheel turning. All souls were prisoners, trapped in the pointless round of existence, leading distracted, blunted lives until death returned them, always in ignorance, to the wheel. The coin is still turning. But what hope had there been? One cannot fight the unseen. Only then will the Scion of Balance be armed for his true endeavor. Despair, Raziel. There is no escape. It was then I knew what I had to do. I alone could end this.
Cain. Do you so enjoy death? Yes. Raziel. No. Yes. This is how... No. Raziel. The Soul River. Pure of all corruption. This is what it is for. This is what I am for. The two become one. Both soul reavers together. And the sign of balance is healed. And I am not your enemy, not your destroyer. I am, as before, your right hand, your sword. No, Razia, this can't be the way. And now you will see the true enemy. Raziel. And it was then I saw. So I am revealed to you at last. What in hell? I am the origin of life, the devourer of death. I am the hub of the wheel, the purifying cycle to which all souls must be drawn. Had I condemned Raziel to this nightmare when I cast him into the abyss? You may ponder the futility of your ambitions as you spend a deathless eternity beneath a mountain of rubble. You and your soul reaver will go equally mad as the eons pass. The Citadel of the Apostates will become your living tomb. Your words are heartening. <laughs> For you would not fear us unless we could truly do you harm. No! You are nothing! False God. <laughs> this is the end, the final turn of your wheel.
The strings of the puppets had become visible, and the hands of the Prime Mover exposed. Most ironic of all was the last gift that Raziel had given me. More powerful than the sword that now held his soul, more acute even than the vision his sacrifice had accorded me. The first bitter taste of that terrible illusion. Hope. All right, that's it. Um, sequel never ever again. Unfortunately. I wonder. I mean, if Tomb Raider can get a reboot, this game can too. 
What's fucking taking him so long? How does the story end? Instead, what do they make? They make a free-to-play multiplayer shooter. Yeah, that's really what I wanted. Jesus fuck. That's it. See you later.